Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Habs Daily News with the hockey coach, guru coach, Frenchie Today, episode 343. What do you have on the menu? Honeymoon is over for Hugo in Montreal. Habs fans are passionate, but some are not right. Many of them was very rude to Reinbacher account on social media. Then the same fans ask themselves why the players don't want to play in Montreal. This front office led by Jeff Gordon and Kent Hughes has had a relatively smooth ride up until now. This is their first brush with the flip side of the passion of the fan base, the accountability and scrutiny that comes with it. I was told Thursday that Pierre-Luc Dubois mentioned this in weighing his decision between following his heart to Montreal or following his head to Los Angeles, and another front office source took that a step further. We're trying to make Montreal a place players want to play, he said, and this stuff definitely doesn't help. As for why the Canadians picked Reinbacher, Co-director of amateur scouting Nick Bobrov clearly stated there was a major asset value equation at work here. It's no mystery to anyone how difficult it is to acquire certain assets and what it takes to acquire them, Bobrov said. We all watch the playoffs and for two months of the year, we get reminded what works and what wins that maybe we tend to forget for 10 months and we get reminded again. So we felt that David, given what he's done this year and last year, in fact, his growth, his potential are very, very intriguing and extremely difficult to obtain. We see that every draft, teams trying to trade up to get that guy, so we were fortunate that he was there for us and we have very high hopes for him. The asset Bobrov is referring to is having a big, physical, smooth skating top pair defenseman. But there are other assets that help a team win in the spring. Elite level compete like Ryan Leonard and dynamic scoring like Matvey Michkov would definitely fall under that category. So why prioritize that one asset over other, perhaps equally important ones? I think in this case, there were not only attributes that we love in the player, but the knowns that we have on the player versus many of the unknowns that may exist with others, Bobrov replied. And again, it's a very, very difficult asset to obtain. So we felt it was the right place, the right player, and we're building a culture. We want certain things that permeate that culture as we keep building this. We felt that this player embodies the type of culture that Jeff, Kent, Marty, the coaching staff are trying to build. And that was not a trivial matter. Culture was an important word. If people are upset over the notion the Canadians drafted for need, I can only imagine how they would feel about the Canadians drafting for culture. The Canadians turned them all down because of their belief in Reinbacher as a key piece to building a team that can win in the spring. They view him as a sort of Noah Dobson type more so than the more common comparison to Moritz Sider, but they feel both those players are basically untouchables on the New York Islanders and Detroit Red Wings. The time will tell us if Hugo is right about their selection David Reinbacher over Michkov or Leonard. Rightly or wrongly, no one can accuse this front office of bowing to public sentiment. They believe what they believe, they stick to it, and they don't care what anyone else thinks. I don't know if what they believe is in fact the right thing to believe, but that belief in their own beliefs is an admirable trait in any NHL front office. Until then, Habs fans calm down and embrace the journey of your favorite team and stay respectful to the young players they want to be with the Montreal Canadiens. Episode 342 is over and hope you enjoy it. But before we leave, we invite you don't forget to click on the likes, subscribe to the channel and finally let me a comment about this episode. And remember you have greatness inside of you and we wishes you an amazing, great and blessing day.